Are you ready? Can you say hi? <laughs> Thanks, Anastasia. <laughs> I think you just stole your sister's water bottle while my back was turned, too. You goofball. Get a little closer. Oh. So, hi everybody. Oh, they are always hungry babies. <laughs> always yelling at me for the food. We've got nothing new. They're eating, um... Just some hamburger mixed with um, tomato sauce and ricotta cheese. And of course a favorite, their uh, raspberries and cauliflower. Anastasia, are you afraid to eat? Oh, hello Sandy. Yeah, the dog. It's the dog over there. So hopefully everybody's having a good Saturday. We already had a fun Saturday, didn't we? We went food shopping this morning. Yum. Yum. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Maddie. <coughs> yes, Maddie Jean. I think they look so different. I don't think they look identical. At least not to me. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Once the girls go down for a nap, I will also be doing laundry. Good morning, JLG. I'm not sure what your first name is. <laughs> you being so silly, Miss Guinevere. Oh, you want to share cauliflower with Mama? That's for you. It's for you. Yes, I think they have completely different face shapes. Anna has... Her cheeks are a little chubbier. Oh, thank you. This is a new phase that Guinevere is going through. She loves to share everything. Thank you. Thank you. Jody. Well, that's a pretty name. I know a few Jodies. Yay, are we clapping? Oh, we're having so much fun having lunch. Hmm. I don't even think Anastasia realized that she has raspberries in the one corner. Oh, thank you so much. There's not even, oh, there's a tiny little bit of meat in your hand. Here you go. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you guys enjoy watching them. Oh, thank you so much, cauliflower. So much cauliflower. Thank you so much. It's funny because mommy actually doesn't even like cauliflower and Anastasia finally found the raspberries. Mm. It's so yummy, huh? I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. Silly girl. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be so interesting once they start talking and being able to tell you guys stories and who knows what. 
You have a giant meatball right here, Miss Anastasia. <laughs> oh, you want that? <laughs> oh. Yes, this plate is definitely the one that works the best. Um, we do sometimes for snacks, we use the other plates. Are you saying hi, Guinevere? Uh, oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's for you. Um, we use the other plates sometimes for snacks, like I was saying, um, when it's not so messy or so much food. Hi, Anna. Hello, Anna. Uh-oh, uh -oh, you want me hand too? They definitely do love food. We eat nice. We eat nice. Oh, thank you, Bert. Oh my goodness, if she gets a piece of food stuck on her face and just leaves it there, I'm going to laugh so hard. <laughs> Are you going to eat any of your cauliflower, Miss Anastasia? Hi, Guinevere. Hi, Anastasia. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's no uh-ohs. Everything is okay. Uh-oh. Everything is okay. You're just waving hi to everybody. Hi. Oh my goodness. So much for covering our mouths in the cough, huh? <laughs> Uh-oh. Did you throw your cauliflower? Remember, we eat nice. We don't throw. Here. Yum. I want it. Thank you. Here, you can have it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. <coughs> wow! That was so loud. Remember, we say water. So I'm also trying to teach them sign language. Um, just in case. Oh, there's a little butter on the cauliflower, which is why Guinevere ate almost all of her. <coughs> Anastasia will eat it sometimes. Sometimes she won't. She's picky about her veggies, which is funny because when oh she has she has something in her hair, so maybe not on her face, but <laughs> she definitely has. I don't even know if you can see. She has a little bit of sauce in her hair. <laughs> Um, but yeah, when she was younger, she was not picky about the purees at all. And, uh, any of the vegetables, she would eat every single one of them. But now she is, uh, become a little pickier than, than Gwen. Gwen is really not picky about any foods, which she was hard to get to eat anything. Oh, thank you so much for sharing all of your water with your sister. And your sister's probably not going to give one up. Can I have this, please? Thank you. Do you want to drink it? Or are you just going to keep sharing? <laughs> Uh-oh. You having trouble with your water bottle? The fact that your sister keeps trying to share everything with you today? Yeah? Yeah? This morning for breakfast, Guinevere was feeding Anastasia some peaches that we had which was 
absolutely adorable, but of course, as soon as I pulled out the camera to tape it, she stopped doing it. Oh, oh. the doggy. Yes, he's sleeping. Doggy sleeping. Look, you still have some in there. You have some meat. <gasps> Anastasia, you don't throw food on the floor. Guinevere is so happy to share Jody. She loves sharing with Mama. She loves sharing with her sister. She loves sharing with the doggy. <laughs> Your sister has her own water. She doesn't need you to share. Thank you, though. Thank you so much for sharing. And Anastasia's my little growler lately. <laughs> oh, you pushed it out of reach on purpose, I feel like. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> Anastasia might have been giving some to the doggy. When he wakes up, I'm sure he will eat it. Your yummy cauliflower. Daddy. Daddy. They are definitely being so extra today. <laughs> I don't know if it's because they, they uh, see the GoPro, which is different from the camera that I use. The GoPro is a lot easier to do uh, live streams from. Uh, what? Uh, you want this? Uh, Little piece of cauliflower? Uh, do you want me to feed it to you? Yes. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> they definitely do make a good comedy team sometimes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Well, what is the problem? Here, look. You have all this meat right here. You want the purple water bottle? Well, then your sister needs to have the pink one. Oh, you're going to give it to your sister? You're so nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're happy and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And a little silly today. Uh-oh. We don't talk food. We eat nice. We eat nice. <laughs> oh, no. The doggy, he's, well, he's not sleeping anymore. Anastasia, no. we don't throw food. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, we don't throw food. Hello, West Coast girl. And now the doggy knows that there's food on the floor, so he's coming over. Dog! Why'd you find a piece of cauliflower? Yum, yum. I think your sister threw that in your chair. Yeah. Yum, yum. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's no uh ohs. It's more cauliflower. That's for you. Oh, thank you so much. You, you love sharing. You want mommy to feed it to you? You silly girl. Mm. Bye, Maddie Jean. Hope you have a lovely day as well. And you know, I just want to tell everybody I'm so happy that you're all fans of Anastasia and Guinevere. 
But I really, uh, uh, last night we had some chats going on uh, under one of the videos. Uh, and uh, I must say, you guys are the loveliest people, the kindest people, Anastasia. Anastasia, stop feeding the doggy. Uh, no, we don't throw food. But you are the kindest, loveliest people that I think I've uh, ever had the pleasure of chatting with. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for being so nice to each other, and to us, and to the girls. So, just thank you. <laughs> Guinevere's giggle. Guinevere. <laughs> You want my other hand too? That's my clean hand, so don't put food in it. Oh, somebody's jealous. Oh, somebody's jealous. Thank you. Thank you. You give high five? Thank you. High five. Good job. High five. High five. Oh, so many high fives. Ah, yay. You can you sharing food, thank you so much. Thank you. We eat nice, Anastasia. Yum yum. Thank you for eating nice. Yum. <gasps> no throwing food. Yeah. Well, the dog's very happy today. He is getting very well fed. <laughs> Well, Sandy, I really did mean what I just said, so. <laughs> oh, thank you, Regina. And thank you, Jody. It's amazing all the wonderful people that we've, we've met through this and, and didn't even mean to. It just kind of happened. But everything happens for a reason. Oh, you sharing with your sister? I don't think she wants to eat any. Thank you. That's so nice. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> oh, your head. Oh, my goodness. Your head, too. I have early afternoon baths because you just put spaghetti sauce in your hair. Yeah, you did. Spaghetti sauce and ricotta cheese in your hair. <laughs> Lee, they love the dog. They love feeding him. They love when he comes around them. <laughs> the dog! He's eating all the food you throw on the floor. Oh no, Anastasia, no, 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 Guinevere, don't you drop that. See, Guinevere knows. <laughs> You're not supposed to throw food on the floor. Hello, Sarah, I'm not sure if I said hi to you, <laughs> but hello. Yeah, look at all that, yum, yum. Uh-oh. Are you sharing? Thank you so much. <laughs> what? You know what? I bet you I know what would get you to eat some of that cauliflower. Oh. We already need baths and we're covered in cheese and sauce already. Let me get a spoon. Oh, you waving for me, keeping everybody entertained. Are you keeping everybody entertained? I 
I think Anastasia just holds out sometimes <laughs> because they love ricotta cheese. Guadavir even knows the container and what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> thank you, West Coast girl. Here, I'll give a little bit to you. Some ricotta cheese. And we'll mix in some ricotta cheese with the cauliflower for your sister. So we already had, hi Ann, by the way. We already had, um, yeah, our ground beef with tomato sauce, ricotta cheese, um, raspberries, and we're finishing up uh, cauliflower. And I just put a little bit of ricotta cheese on it because they are ricotta cheeseaholics and they'll eat ricotta cheese on anything. Uh, this one right here, I don't know if I can get my, that's reaching for my fingers, Guadavia. And this one right here, my little pumpkin, is Anastasia. So Anastasia and Guinevere are their names. Right, we have princess names. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna try to lift the mat up? It's not gonna come up. It's not gonna. Oh, you need more cheese for your cauliflower? Well, Sandy, I really truly hope that everything turns out well. And uh, you're definitely in our prayers. I mean, hearing something like that is definitely scary. And uh, sometimes you need a community to help you out and back you up. And I feel like that's what we're all here for. Yes, Guinevere has a little ricotta cheese mustache right now. <laughs> oh, you want my hand again? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you want mommy to feed you again? You're so goofy. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you any more cheese. That was enough cheese, honey bunnies. Yum yum. Mmm. Yes, Lee. Um, Gwen will just pick up a whole chunk of ricotta cheese and shove the whole thing in her mouth. <laughs> she actually will pick up chunks of a lot of things, which is why I cut things so small because she will just shovel everything into her mouth. <gasps> Are you gonna... We don't throw food. Are you all done? Oh, you're all done? Oh, oh. Yay! Are you all done too? We can have a little snack. Mommy give you a little snack. Since there's still so many people watching. Yeah, you want your water? I'll go get you a snack while you drink your water, okay? Anybody guess what the snack's going to be? <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. <laughs> it's Cheerios. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, wow. Bye, Jody. Hope you have a great weekend as well. Hey. Yes, Sandy, they follow me all over the place. <laughs> most part I'm really the only one that is here all the time daddy's working a lot and uh, really the only visitors we have are on a regular basis I should say are um, my mother and father they're Nana and uh, grandpa because all the rest of the family lives so far away in Massachusetts so we don't get to see them very often. Choo, choo, choo. We'll get a little closer for the... Uh... Yeah, the doggy! For the snack time, so you can see their faces. Uh. Regina Anastasia is walking with the help of her walker. Um, that was our, our video yesterday. Um... Yes, Anne, thank goodness these plates and uh, these mats are really, they're, well, the mats are, are held down by um, the chairs themselves. Okay, hit the camera. Oh, thank you so much for Cheerios. Thank you. I actually can't wait to see the flower girl dresses either. I don't know what they're going to be. <laughs> Oh my goodness, are you okay, Anastasia? Are you not excited? You just want Mama's hand too? Mama! Oh, thank you. Are you sharing with Mama? Mama! Uh oh, you dropped them. The doggy! Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, you want to go pet him? I think he's trying to take another nap. Thank you for sharing the your Cheerios. So now Anastasia is sharing with me. <laughs> Guinevere loves to dance, but so does Anastasia. Right? We're dancing. He's dancing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now you're dancing. With a whole mouthful of Cheerios, and you go smash them. This is a game that we love to play. You have your water right here, honey buns. Well, thank you, Patty. I, uh, it makes me very happy that we're bringing so many loving and caring and just wonderful, amazing people together. Thank you. And, and it's not just me. It's, you know, it's definitely the girls. I'm the one that's behind the camera a lot. But I'm sure if I had my own YouTube channel where it was just me, there would not be as many people watching. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch a grown adult eat. <gasps> mm. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are plenty of people that, that do have channels where they are grown adults and they eat, but that's not a channel I'm willing to do. And I'm sure as these girls grow, the channel's going to change more into things they're learning to do and art projects and... Playing outside in the adventures that we go on. Because there's only so much food in the world. Okay. Oh, good job. Thank you. Here's your hand. Thank you. <laughs> I can't reach your mouth. You're so far away. <laughs> getting so excited just because you're putting Cheerios in my hand. You're so goofy.
Oh, hi, Pete. You're wondering who is older. Guinevere is older by three minutes. She was born at 9.01 in the morning and Anastasia was born at 9.04. Oh my goodness, West Coast girl. I could not imagine having these two girls and then even having a single person, you know, right now. Like, having another baby right now is, is just, that's insane. God bless your mother. I know there's plenty of women that uh, have multiple sets of twins. And, um, yeah, no, when we found out it was twins, I said, this is going to be my only pregnancy. Because... I don't think I could handle more than two kids at the same time. If I had had a singleton first and then twins, it might be different, but these are going to be my only babies. Oh, I'm sure they're going to have a ton of fun plotting together as they get older. <laughs> No problem, Pete. <laughs> yeah, the birthday is actually um, a fun story. Um, so I actually, because I was having a C-section, got to choose the day, the date that they were born on. And, um, you know, I was given a window, obviously. And my grandmother uh, was born on 3-3-33, March 3rd in 1933. So when they gave me the option of having them be born on 2-2-22, I said, you know what? I think that would be a great birthday. Well, come to find out, my, um, my husband's father, who had passed away years before I'd met him, um, I did not know his birthday was actually February 2nd on Groundhog's Day. So they were born on his father's birthday. And it's Groundhog's Day, so that's always a fun day. <laughs> you were getting so excited doing Mama Cheerios. <laughs> Your baby got in the way. Is there anything in your bib? What's in your bib? Anything in there? Guinevere loves things in her bib. I think a Cheerio fell on your face. There's Cheerio in your bib. A cauliflower, and there it is. Anastasia has ricotta cheese on her chin, and she is completely unaware of it. Oh, it fell off. I was hoping it would stay on there for you, Sandy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that fake cough. I don't think you have too much in your mouth. It's for you. It's for you. Oh, thank you. So yeah, if anybody has any food um, ideas to give them the try out, um, let me know. We're smashing Cheerios now. Uh-oh, Guinevere's done her Cheerios. Do you need some more Cheerios? Are you dancing? Your shoulder swishing? Yeah. Some more Cheerios. Get some asking for some more Cheerios, even though you probably don't want them, you're just smushing. It's going to be interesting once they're able to talk and they tell me what they want to eat. Oh, you have a whole lot of cauliflower there in your bib, sweetheart. You got anything else in your bib, Guinevere? I don't think you do. Just Cheerios, India. Oh, 
more cauliflower on. Oh, she got it. <gasps> no. We eat nice. We don't throw food. Yeah, your sister just threw a whole bunch of Cheerios. Yeah. The doggy will eat them later. <laughs> So their sleep schedule, um, they actually wake up at 6.30 in the morning, um, be nice, then they take a nap at 9.30, and then they wake up at 11, and then we take another nap at 2, and then we wake up at 3.30, and then we go to bed at 6.30. So we're probably going to be switching that soon. Um, they're starting to not want to go to sleep. So I think they're needing their wake windows a little bit longer. Um, so I think we're going to be making their wake windows a little bit longer and their bedtime maybe slightly later. But for right now, it's, it's still working. Oh, you want that one Cheerio that's right there? Uh -oh. um, let's see. Beef stew with mashed potatoes. They might actually love that. I know Guinevere will love it. She loves any kind of beef. Don't throw. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I think that was a fake cough. <laughs> You're so goofy, Anastasia. Yeah, you smoked it. What? I don't know what the problem is. That's your water bottle. Mommy's got her own water bottle. Oh, she almost dropped that on the floor. Yes, I am enjoying the naps while I can. <laughs> I try to get as much housework done as possible and laundry especially. Are you being not so nice? Stop throwing food. Uh -uh. Eat nice. And this is how I know that they're done eating because Guinevere will look me dead in the eye and start throwing food on the floor. Yeah, you think you're so ah. sneaky. Daddy. Yes, you do. I could only imagine being on TV, Regina. Um, I I would laugh so hard. Um, because I don't I don't know if they would be like this on TV. You know, with the whole production crew that would have to be here and everything. Yeah. I, I really honestly think that they would probably just sit there and stare at the camera. <laughs> They're completely different children when there's more people around. Are you singing and dancing, Anastasia? Ooh, a dog. Cream cheese on toast might be nice. Yes. Oh, and grilled cheese sandwiches. I love me some grilled cheese sandwiches. Yes, Lee. Um, the side eye Gwen gives me, I have to fight everything inside me to not laugh at her when she does it. Because it is absolutely hilarious. I was wondering if you were going to eat that piece of cauliflower, Miss Anastasia. Those are some good ideas. Yeah, if anybody ever... Oh, hi, Michael. I didn't even see... Wow, I hope everybody had their volume turned down for that. Oh my goodness, Anastasia. I didn't even see you, Michael, uh, saying hi. So hello from the UK. Hi, Michael, from the United States, the East Coast of the United States.
Oh, trust me, as soon as they're old enough, they're gonna be in so many classes, whether it's dance classes or music classes or just playtime to socialize kind of things. We do have quite a few parks near us that um, a lot of kids go to. So once the weather is warmer, um, hopefully they'll be walking by then too, because it'll be easier for them to play with other kids if they're walking. Um, thank you so much. Oh, you want to share with mom too? Get them out and have them socialize and show off their cool skills. Don't throw. Thank you. Don't throw, Anastasia. You better eat nice, Missy Pants. Thank you. Mmm. Oh yes, I'll be bringing the camera and hopefully the people in the park, I'm um, obviously, oh, don't be nice. Don't pull your sister's baby. That might hurt. Um, obviously the people in the park, I'm going to have to ask if they mind being on YouTube because um, I don't want to put other people's children or other people on YouTube. Oh, Guinevere, you're the one with, I think that's cauliflower on your face. Holy smokes. That's, that's a cute look for you. And Anastasia the Growler. But um, yes, we're going to still go to parks or nature trails or something. And I'm still going to bring the camera and record it. And just ask if other people mind their kids being on my YouTube channel. Most people are friendly enough and they don't mind. Um, if somebody minds, I'll just have to make sure that the girls don't play near them. <laughs> so that you guys can still... Watch them playing with other people. Oh, you're going to share with your sister? Oh, you got the cauliflower off of her face. Oh, you're going to share? Oh, thank you for sharing. I think you just shared your finger, but... <laughs> Guinevere did a psych out share. She said, here you go, I'll share. Just kidding. Guinevere, no pulling on the baby. That's not nice. Thank you. Thank you for the Cheerio. Uh-oh, here, yeah, you can have it back. I'll give it to you. Yes, Guinevere will steal um, whatever her sister has that she wants. Um, I think they're just close enough that Gwen Guinevere, no steal on the bibby. Um, Guinevere can just reach her plate. So I might have to move them apart a little bit as they get a little bigger. Or Gwen's just going to steal all her sister's food. <sighs> right? You're going to steal your sister? Steal all your sister's food? Are you trying to share with Mama again? Here, I'll share with you. Hello, Eleanor. And bye, Eleanor. Hello and goodbye. Um, yeah, I've actually never been outside of the United States. Um, I've been all over the United States, but never outside of it. And I would love to travel to Europe. Um, ah. I've been to the West Coast of the United States. I'm up and down the East Coast because I live on the East Coast. Do you want your baby on? Are you over the bib? You can take the baby off. I'm coming around. I'm gonna take the baby off. Everybody's gonna get to see my on camera. <laughs> Hi everybody. We'll take your baby off since it's annoying you. Hi, you say hi now. Are you waving hi? Okay. Dog. So yeah, I would I would absolutely love to take a trip outside of the United States. Uh. 
I'll give them one more snack, and then I think after this one, we'll probably have to go. This is another favorite. If I can open it. Mommy might have to get the scissors. This is one of their favorite things in the whole entire world. But Uncle John and Aunt Dee got them so many of these for Christmas. And we actually, we ate them all. But it's the teethers. Let's see. We definitely, Sarah, we'll have to try some fruit and yogurt. Put that on the uh, on the list. Yes, I would like to visit the northeast part of uh, Europe for the history. I'd love to visit. My my aunt has been to England. I'd love to visit England. I'd love to see Italy. <laughs> Rice pudding. Hmm. Oh, the Northeast U.S. Um, yeah, the Northeast U.S. is. If you're gonna visit the Northeast, visit in the summertime because in the wintertime it's very cold. But Boston is a beautiful city. Um. I've been as far as uh, New Hampshire, um, uh -oh. New York is a fun city if you uh, like shopping, <laughs> Saks Fifth Avenue is a great area to shop, but uh, the Statue of Liberty is fun to look at. New York City is a very busy city. Um, if you don't like a lot of people, don't go to New York because that's it's all people. It's very stress, a lot of stress in New York City. But Boston is a completely different city. It it's smaller, but um, and obviously there's still people, but it doesn't. It's not overwhelming. Yes, Patty, this is real life. <laughs> this is um this is what my day looks like pretty much every day. Eating and playing with babies. Thank you so much for trying to share with Mama Guinevere. That's for you. That's for you. Shelly, I'm sure they're going to be crazy wild. They are my little monkeys. I'm sure they're going to love playing on the parks. I hope they'll be talking soon. Twins sometimes take a while um, to talk because they develop their own language, which is why I'm trying to teach them sign language. Um, but their hands are not coordinated enough to do, um, you know, to have the dexterity to do a lot of the sign language gestures. You ate those way fast. Well, Sandy, I'm, I'm glad we were able to make your Saturday a little bit better. I'm sure we made a lot of people happy this Saturday morning or afternoon. I'm not sure what time it is where you are. It's the afternoon for us. Thank you so much, Guinevere. You know, West Coast girl, I, I might understand. I might be 
able to understand them. I'm gonna have to try to figure it out, but I've, I've seen other videos of twins talking to each other and it just sounds like mumbo jumbo. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. You girls are so silly. And it's funny, I, they're still eating. I can't believe how much they eat. I asked the pediatrician how much I should be feeding them, you know, for lunches or breakfasts or dinner. And the pediatrician said, feed them until they stop eating. Well, I haven't actually found a time when they actually stop eating. So now I just give them what I think is an appropriate amount and we snack throughout the day. We're obviously not going to have an afternoon snack today because they ate so much. I might just give them some milk. But um, mm, but these little girls will eat. I feel like they would just sit here and eat all day if, if I kept cooking for them. <laughs> Hi, Linda from New Mexico. And it's so funny that they eat so much because they're still skinny little things. They only weigh 20 pounds. And they're, the outfits they're wearing right now are still size three to six months. Thank you so much. Oops, that's for you. It's for you. I'm not going to feed it to you, silly goose. Silly goose. Oh, hugs and kisses, Patty. Have fun with your housework. I will be doing housework when they go down for their nap at two. Uh -oh. Have a lovely weekend to you, West Coast girl. Thank you so much. Well, I don't think I'm going to give you any, any more teethers. That's a, that's a lot. You already had two. Can you show me where your head is? Where's your head? Where's your head? You're just going to stare at me? There's your belly. Where's your head? Where's your head? Yeah, no more. Your head. <laughs> There's your head, Anastasia. What about your nose? Where's your nose? Where's your nose? You're not going to do it? You're just going to laugh at me? That's your belly, Guinevere. It's your belly. Yeah, your belly. Oh, hi, Marjorie. <coughs> they were delivered early. Um, they, they were born at 36 weeks and four days instead of 40. Well, I guess people are asking questions. I'll give you another little teether, you little goober. Um, so, yes, they were... Born at 9.01 and 9.04 in the morning. Mommy had to be at the hospital at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, but they were four weeks early. Which could be why they're a little bit on the smaller side. But like I said, they eat so much. Yes, they are enjoying Cheerios and Teethers. Um, we already had lunch. We had some cauliflower with raspberries and uh, ground beef with ricotta cheese and sauce. And then we've been snacking so we can stay and talk with people. 
Yes, they do not like pacifiers at all. Um, they refused pacifiers. I want to say it was close to maybe they were five or six weeks old. And, uh, they were old enough to spit the pacifier out and refuse to put it back in their mouth. <laughs> Uh, they were, so Guinevere was a tiny little thing. She was four pounds and 15 ounces when she was born. And Anastasia was pretty much a, a regular normal size baby. She was six pounds and four ounces when she was born. Still on the small side, but thank you so much. Mmm. Oh my gosh, Sandy, they love stuffed mushrooms. I have given them stuffed mushrooms almost every other day and they they can't get enough of the stuffed mushrooms. <laughs> they They are, for the most part, developing very well. Um, they're a little behind in certain things, but where they're behind in some things, they're actually ahead in other things, um, which I think is, is kind of funny. <laughs> um, yeah, the dog is sleeping now. He's snoring. Yes, he's sleeping. Um, so... Most babies, the doggy. Most babies don't give high five until 15 months. So these girls are 13 months and they'll high five. Are you going to make a liar? Oh, there you go. Good job. Thank you for high five. And you want a high five too? Another high five. High five. High five. Thank you. And they think it's so funny to high five. Oh, thank you. They definitely have huge personalities. And yes, I think they're pretty cute. How about... You want an apple pouch? Let's do apple pouches. Yeah, uh-oh. And if you're still hungry after these, we might have a problem. You don't have to shove that in your mouth. You're going to get a pouch anyway. They might sleep well. This is normally, so normally we'll have lunch at 11 o'clock and they'll usually finish around 11.30 and then we'll have a snack around 12.45 and they'll finish usually around 1 o'clock or 10 after 1 and then uh, they'll go to take their nap at two um, but we just kind of did lunch right into snack time today so that we could continue to hang out with all of you lovely wonderful people so <laughs> Anastasia was actually um, the first one to say uh-oh she said, uh-oh, very early. Um, yes, Guinevere, uh-oh. Um, Anastasia started saying it, I want to say around five months old. And um, she would constantly throw things. And I would constantly say, uh-oh. And I think she just picked it up every time she threw something. 
I would say, uh oh. So she started saying, uh oh, and then would throw something. <laughs> yes, you would, you silly girl. Uh oh, uh oh. That's a big uh oh. Mommy's gonna put it back on. Yeah, otherwise, you can squeeze all the uh, apple sauce out of there. There you go. Yours is okay. Yeah, yours is okay. So these are little applesauce pouches. Um, they're um, they're just pouches. The tops, these top things, I should link them. No matter how hard you squeeze, the stuff won't come out. You actually have to suck the uh, applesauce pouch or whatever out of it. But there's vegetables in there along with apples. Um, figure if they're going to keep begging for snacks, so give them something a little healthier than the teethers. Oh, thank you, Regina. Um, so I'm not sure how to say your name. Ballard 13, I'm guessing. Um, they do sleep very good at night. They sleep 12 hours at night from, from 6.30 p.m. till 6.30 a.m. So mommy uh, sleep trained them pretty early on as soon as their little brains were able to understand sleep and stay asleep. Can I help you? You got it? Okay. I was just going to try to help you, silly girl. Uh-oh. And yes, Regina, they are very healthy. Um, I try to make sure that they eat a well-balanced meal at every meal and we have fairly healthy snacks. Hopefully we'll be able to avoid fast foods and, and things like that. I think while we were in Florida, that was probably the unhealthiest they ate. Um, a lot of the restaurants that we ate at did not have like adult food in kid friendly form so they ate a lot of mac and cheese um we did give them some of mommy and daddy's foods your name is amy okay i can remember that oh okay and your son's name is brandon so okay They have not tried chocolate yet. Um, I was just going to push it to the bottom, silly girl. Oh, the cat's on now. See? There you go. Here you go. Here, take it. Um, I actually have a recipe that I might try to do um, for the chocolate if I do give them some chocolate. Um, it's a, I don't, I don't know if you're familiar with paleo form of eating, um, but it's a sugar-free chocolate, and I've heard that it tastes really good. I am not a fan of chocolate, believe it or not. I don't like chocolate, <laughs> but um, this chocolate uses the baker's chocolate, which if you've had it is very bitter, um, but it's good for baking, and um it uses um, honey, stevia, and I forget what else. There's honey, stevia, and something else in it um, to make it sweeter. Oh no, your thing popped off again. The doggy. Yeah, yours is empty, Guinevere. Here you go, Anastasia. So that'll be our chocolate experience, hopefully. Um, 
I also make um, a paleo style pizza, which um, doesn't have any flour in it. It's made with almond flour, which isn't flour. Um, we just call it almond flour because it's powdered up almond. Um, and there's no sugar in it. It's made, um, it's got honey, which is a natural sugar. But the pizza is really good, so I might make that for them in the next coming weeks. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. I'm, I'm glad you still love me, even though I don't like chocolate. Oh. Yeah, I've never been a fan of chocolate. I've been a vanilla strawberry girl my whole life. I actually prefer... It's your sister's Guinevere. If she doesn't finish it, I'll give it to you, but it's hers. Um, my all-time favorite, like, snacky-type foods is um <laughs> I like vanilla ice cream with peanut butter swirls inside of it but anything peanut butter is right up my alley you're trying to drink your sister's and it's empty is it because the cap why is your cap keep falling off Oh, thank you, Patty. <laughs> Daddy loves chocolate. Daddy will definitely have to help them eat their chocolate bunny. <laughs> Are you going to rip the lid off again? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yay, you can open. Uh-oh, that's on the floor. That's a big uh-oh. Are you just going to finish your sister's? I think she's done anyway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's your head? No, you're not going to show me your head. Oh, is it all done? Yeah, you just, you have to drink it. There's still some in there. Oh, Susan, them standing, yes, and walking. Anastasia's on her way to being independent. Well, as independent as 13-month-olds get. <laughs> There'll definitely be a whole lot of different type of exploring. They've had bananas. I'll give them bananas again. Um, I'll have to get some from the grocery store, but yeah, well, we'll definitely do bananas again. They've had bananas a lot, and they love bananas. We have to actually be careful with bananas because they can back you up. Um, but with all the other foods that we eat, like applesauce, that'll keep us a little regular, and the grapefruits. Are we going to play drums now? Yeah, this is our funnest time. We love doing it. Oh, you want to point to mommy's nose? Where's your nose? Where's your nose? Oh, thank you. That's your cheerio. Oh, and you pointed to your nose. Oh, you have a Cheerio on your chin, Guinevere. You silly goose. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> the Cheerio's 
on your chin like a little goatee. <gasps> I don't know how long it's going to stay there, but it's hanging on for dear life. On your head. Oh my goodness, a cheerio on your head. It's balanced perfectly up there too. You're so goofy. I, I hope you can see that in the camera. Oh, it's not on your head anymore. It's on your finger. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh, Amy, I'm sure they're going to be the best little fl I might do some looking around to see if there's an Easter Bunny somewhere else. Because when we did Santa pictures at the mall, um, we weren't allowed to videotape it. So, which you can tell my age because I just said videotape instead of record. Um, so, I don't know if we're going to try to find somewhere else that will let us tape their pictures or... If I'll just have to pay for pictures at the mall again. Anastasia, are you throwing things on the floor? The dog is going to be so happy when he wakes up from this nap. Yes, your little food catcher. Yeah, that's to prevent the dog from eating all of your food. But today we didn't have anything we can't have, so I guess it's going to be okay. Do you want it or no? You keep pushing it away. Okay, you want my hand? I'll have to I'll have to try to get a video of it. The dog doesn't really play. He just kind of sleeps and sometimes like they'll go up to him and pet him. Um You want this one? He's a really old dog. Um, he's 12. And he's getting really skinny. Oh, there goes that water bottle. He's got a doggy dementia, so he sometimes has episodes where he doesn't know where he is or what's going on. But, oh, there goes the other water bottle. But he still eats a lot and is a happy guy when he's not going through an episode. And the girls absolutely love him. <laughs> Are you poking your sister in the mouth? You're being so silly. <laughs> How's your sister's finger taste? Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> now the eye in the mouth. You're so silly. You trying to show everybody your teeth? What are these days? Oh, you're okay, Mama. Anastasia, you say sorry. Well, on that note. It is very close to playtime, and now I have to. Now I have to console the baby. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. So we're gonna say goodbye. You say bye bye. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we'll see everybody later. And we will give the doggy plenty of kisses. You want to say bye-bye, Guadalupe? Can you say bye-bye? <laughs>